to be setting them up, but you got set up though, I guess, because you was a top dog. You was Jesus' brother. But are you Jesus' brother now, Tony, since they done kicked you out? And we keep wondering why did they kick Tony off? Could this be the reason why Tony was removed from being a governing body? And not only was he removed, but they are trying to erase Tony Morris. They are trying to make Tony Morris like the Mandela effect, okay? Like some people years from now are going to be saying that Tony Morris was on a governing body and, and he did this. And, you know, if these allegations are true, we're going to be including this as well. You know, yeah, he molested, you know, allegedly this this lady and her sisters and he was running a, a, a sex trafficking ring and all of these things that are alleged in this video. And then somebody's going to say, oh, no, but he was not a governing body member. You know, if you go on our website, you'll never see any videos of Tony Morris. He was not a governing body member because it would have it online. We don't have nothing of him. We don't have. And we're going to be saying, yes, he was. I got proof. I got some videos of him. And then you'll have to go other places to find these videos to prove that that was Tony Morris. But then they'll be saying that's AI. You see how that's going to work? And you see, even now the Jehovah's Witnesses, it's sad because they'll try to tell, well, you know, that's why Jehovah getting rid of him was done. It's, yeah, you're right. Jehovah going to take care of it. He going to clean his organization now, even if it's all the way at the top. But no, no. OK, because there's no way you can tell me that the rest of these governing nobodies didn't know about what was going on. I think it's not until this whole thing was about to blow up. That's when. OK, they start trying to distance themselves from Tony Morris because they always trying to distance themselves from stuff, even though they know they be having everything to do with stuff. But they try to get their name off of it, <laughs> trying to trying to keep themselves clean when they just as dirty as ever. And especially if this true, you shouldn't have got no house. I don't care if you live on the street and there ain't nothing but hush money because they know they all involved with it, too. If all of this come out to be true. OK, she says. There's a nationwide investigation going on out of California and Pennsylvania, guys. Wow. I can't wait to see, you know, what comes of this. What what other information are we going to get about this? What is Watchtower going to have to say? And Tony Morris, where are you? Where are you? You're hiding. You hiding for some reason. Okay? This is disgusting. If this is true and this man has been running this cult, talking so spotty, talking about tight pants and, you know, people uh, lighting matches and blowing them out, talking about people going vanish with smoke, that's Jehovah's enemies. But you've been around here allegedly running a sex ring. Come on, Tony Morris. You've been around here abusing and hurting kids. You've been around here and you've been a pedo yourself. Come on, Tony Morris. I can't believe you, man. But you know, I, I knew it had to be. I just was thinking that for them to be trying to erase you and separate themselves from you as badly as they are, you must have did something really bad. And the only thing I could come up with was apostasy or CSA. And I actually ruled out CSA thinking that if it was CSA, that wouldn't be why they would be trying to get rid of them. Because, I mean, they're OK with pedos being in the congregation and Roman free. They don't report pedos. But I think that, see, this is all about to hit the fan. There's there's some works going on behind the scenes that they want to separate themselves from. So they they, they willing to throw him up under the bus. Yeah, get away from us. We ain't trying to go down with you nah, and your foolishness. This is sad, Tony. This is really sad. We want to hear. We want to hear for what y'all got to say, Watchtower, about this. Okay? What do y'all have to say about this? I'm so proud of this young lady. She is so brave. It seems like, you know, whatever she's saying, uh, it seems like a case may be going on, an investigation may be going on, but it seems like she can't wait. She can't wait, and she has to get the word out there. She was, she was, ex she had to expose this. She said he's dangerous, y'all. And, you know, she say that Tony is grass. And she the mower. She say, y'all asking her if she all right, y'all better be asking them. Are they okay? They, they the ones that need, they going to need the help, not her. She all right. So, man, she not playing. She's not playing any games with these boys, these governing nobodies. 
and I'm here for it. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is crazy, okay? And we're going to talk about it some more, all right? It's Felice, totally awake. Be sure to like this video, and I'll be back with another one. Bye. Objects or that person or whatever it is to be the true God. So when we are referring to the Bible passage in green, likely, that I thought passage might be referring to the Almighty who lives in heaven. And there is only one of it. Mm -hmm. I not be anybody before you. And there are not Okay, so when, let's say, for example, when the New World Translation mistranslates John 1.1 1, 1 and says that the Word was a God, how do you explain that? Yeah, if you look at that John 1.1, 1, 1, yeah. uh, if you look at it closely, did you take note of the God that was used here, if it was capital God or small letter God? Well, every letter in the original Koine Greek was capital. No, you can you have take a look at that. At the no, I have, I have. So, like, it's Theon and Theos, and it just means God. There's no capital. Look at that, my you're talking about. The New World Translation uses lowercase g for, for the word. So, do you have a copy of the New World Translation? I do. Yeah. So, if you look at it here. No, but I'm, I'm telling you to look at the Greek. Instead of looking at the New World Translation, we'll look at the Greek. You can look at the New World Translation, mm -hmm. and also the King James Version of the Bible, yes. and then you see what they were referring to. If you actually take a look at that, it's referring to small letter G. So okay. It's not making reference to the Almighty God. So you're saying John 1 1 is referring to two gods. There's Almighty God and a small God, right? Is that what you're saying? It says, in the beginning yeah. was the world, and the world was with God. Mm -hmm. Do you take note of this first God here? Yeah, but this is the New World Translation. I can read you the Greek once you're done, because this is a mistranslation, I'm telling you. Well, we are coming. Mm -hmm. It says, and the world was a God. So if you look at the second God, it was with a, a, small, a small letter that it was written. I don't know if you have the King James Version. Well, let's just go to the Greek. So it says, it says, NRK, Ein Ha, Logos. I don't understand. I'm going to translate it. I'm going to translate it. So, NRK, in the beginning, N was, Ha, the, Logos, word. Kai is and, Ha is the, Logos, word. Look at this Logos now. If you look at the first Logos, yeah. it was capital. I feel no. like the same logos was small later. No, no, so it's no, actually no. In, in, yeah. together with what I was just telling you. So you take when a God refers to in capital, it's referring to the Almighty God. Okay, let me just pause the video for a moment. Why can't they keep having social contact with those people who happen to remain in the organization? I'll say again, I, we're going to be very repetitive. I apologize, Your Honor, but. Uh, the individual can choose. Uh, why is it necessary for the organisation to tell all of its adherents you must shun that person? Because the individual has not taken the decision to no longer associate or to no longer be involved with congregation activities, which is their right. They've taken the decision to say, I'm shunning the congregation, I'm no longer a part of the congregation, I put it in writing. So the individual takes that action and we understand the implications that when someone is disfellowshipped, the congregation takes that action. So the individual does not need to put themselves in a position where they're shunned. They can walk away, they can go to another congregation. That's their personal choice. But we understand and agree, and agree with the point you're making, Your Honour. Well, you haven't answered the point before. <laughs> You have not answered his honest question. His honest, his, his honest question is why is it necessary to shun the person who disassociates? And before you answer, let me clarify one thing. The person who disassociates, both, both you and Mr. Brown have now said it, um, you said that they shun the organisation. They don't necessarily at all. They're talking about someone who just doesn't want to be part of it anymore. They still want to have their friends, their family, um, and, and everything else, their social network. So accept that kind of person, but he disassociates. Now, why is it necessary to have a policy that everyone else must now shun them? 
again, that's a decision the person makes because that individual. I think that is an obvious issue. I don't think we're going to get anywhere. I think we should. Well, the real answer to the question is because you say the Bible says so. That's the answer, isn't it? That, yes, that, that's how our, our understanding of the scriptural uh, disfellowshipping and disassociation doctrine. I should just say also that in relation to the point that um, Mr. Brian, you made, and Mr. Sphinx as well, I think, and that's that um, a person can become inactive without disassociating and in that way not be shunned. Uh, without going through that evidence again, I just want to say to you that that's, that's highly contested by a lot of people um, as to whether that is possible. I know you say that's the case. A lot of other people say it isn't. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. The point, simple point is, and I'm not going to let you respond, but I'm not going to go down this path we went down before. Um, the simple point is this. A person who... Uh, does not want to be active in the organisation anymore um, in order to avoid being shunned and must disassociate. There isn't, there isn't a category of membership of inactive uh, and um, never 